as a student and also be involved in the missions of both local or international. They do Alaska, I've seen Hawaii in there as well. So they have some positions all over the world, so it's a wonderful thing. Um, and there will be a flyer in the back from the table back there if anybody's interested. <laughs> so yeah. There are, and then we've got one left. What? Okay. I have to make a pitch for this because yes. this is exciting. I don't know if you caught that. These are paid positions, <laughs> paid positions for people to travel, sometimes only down to Miami. And they take care of lodging, food, and airfare. Yeah, and it is, it's two to eight weeks, a minimum of two weeks, but you can do all the way up to, I think, 10 weeks, actually. Um, they do have a, a week training seminar in April that is required. That they pay for. Yeah, it's paid for, so that, that, they even pay for the flight for that, so. Okay. Yeah. All right, and this is a exciting thing that, that is just starting to develop, with, that this is in the process, and. Uh, so you know, for, for those of me that are like me that are knee challenged, uh, we, we you know this is a, a, an interesting concept that we're getting into for me. So, but we're we're looking into it. We're developing a 5K run for the school to raise money for. Uh, it's going to this tribe in Kenya that needs water. Um, it, it's uh, the environment there in is harsh. I mean, the, the, to the point where their children aren't even being named until they're like two years old because the mortality rate is so high for the lack of water. So the, they actually have a picture there of the filtration system that this is raising money for, and we have the local <coughs> missionary that is actually working with this tribe in Kenya to, do, to provide these, they're about $30 a piece. Uh, this year we're looking to do a fun run, um, probably we're still looking at the date, possibly soon in May, possibly in the fall, we'll be posting that soon so you can keep an eye out for it. Um, it is through New International, it is the group that it's through, and they're partnering with African, uh, African Hope, and this is through Running Water 5Ks missions up in uh, Fort Myers. Uh, they actually have it on May 7th up there. If anybody's in that direction, they're welcome to join. We are partnering with them, so it's, it's exciting. We're just getting into it, so keep, keep, and then keep uh, for it, but you know, hopefully the, those of us that are knee challenged can at least walk slow for this. At least nothing else to raise money. Thomas, you want to raise your raise your hand, Thomas? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> One of our professors, Thomas Hare, actually is uh, uh, does works with this ministry for running water. And so he will be at the Fort Myers one on May 7th. So if you guys would like a day trip, you can join Thomas running there or our fun run that will be coming May. And just to be since we have a finish line. So thank you very much for letting us present these ideas today. And uh, you know, God bless. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we are doing things locally and overseas and all at the same time. And I think uh, just putting some hands and feet to the Great Commission as we study, right? And as even as a school body, we have extensions of our local churches as well. And what a time to be a witness. I mean, it's always the great commission to be a witness, but then this is our time. So we need to be a witness in our time. And I just want to share that being a witness takes so many different forms. Yes? We need all hands on deck. Right? Bad knees and good knees. <laughs> Jesus is building us to be witnesses, right? To be his witnesses. And there's a movement going on with just all generations embracing the love of God and giving it out to others without judgment. And that witness, that love of God, that spirit of God that we carry touches and does a deeper work that only God can do. And so these endeavors are what we are uh, stirring our student to go with, right? Yeah. Um, and so having said that now, I know many of us are still continuing to pray with the situation in Ukraine and uh, at, the, at the world level, and it is easy to us uh, to get uh, react in one extreme, right? Tune it out or be totally overwhelmed. And there's another extreme. Right? We all we do is pray and and then disengage. Well, prayer is good, and God will do what God will do, and prayer is a gift that we need to embark on. But 
I also want to encourage us to have conversations about it, yes? In your groups, just start talking about it, even for our own benefit, right? It's part of the mission, we are witnesses, sometimes we carry things more than we should, and we need to share it and have conversations. So make, so make it a, a, as a point of conversation instead of a, God will take care of it, pray about it, and sweep it under the rug type of mindset. Um, I have been reading, every time I get overwhelmed with that, I, a verse comes, yeah, and I marked it off, and it's in uh, Psalms 10, so I'll read verse 12 to 14 for us before we go. It says, Arise, Lord. That's a burden. Now, we don't need to tell God to arise, but that's the psalmist's burden and a cry of prayer. Arise, Lord. Lift up your hand, O God. Do not forget the helpless. Why does the wicked man revile God? Why does he say to himself, he won't call me to account? But you, God, see the trouble of the afflicted. You consider their grief and take it in hand. And the victims commit themselves to you. You are the helper of the fatherless. Psalms 10, very much the heart of our God in these times that he sees, he feels, he takes, he considers their grief and take it in hand. And so we wanna join with our Lord, yes? And do some of these things as well and have conversation, raise awareness, bring God's heart into it. Amen? Amen? So I'm going to pray and then we will all be dismissed. Thank you so much, Lance and Sky, for sharing these things. You will hear more about them as, as we continue the semester and as they develop. So be on the lookout for it. I just like local missions now. I've done it internationally so long and I don't know if I'm knee challenge, but I'm spine challenge, <laughs> which is big, right? But so I, I'm looking at that run and I'm thinking, my heart's there, but I don't know about my body. You will see. <laughs> <laughs> Some, something, you know, my heart's bigger than my, my rationale. So uh, let's pray. Our Father, we come and we thank you for all that you're doing right here among us in worship, in missions, in bringing the nations together here. We thank you for the hearts you're connecting in our communities right here. Oh Lord, our, uh, the hearts you're connecting in the spirit and in prayer for the things that are happening in our world. I thank you that you're a good father to the fatherless, and your heart considers the afflicted and the helpless. Such a God we can count on when we feel helpless. You are not. Lord, we lift up the people in the Ukraine and surrounding countries, families, God, moms and dads and children. Lord, I also lift up families in Russia who are not for this. I pray for you to raise such an awareness, O oh God, and may your will be done. I don't know what your will is in this, but I know if your will is done, it is good. So we thank you for all you're doing, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for coming to chapel. Have a good class.